Hey guys, John Luxa here, back with our blind playthrough of Orwell. So this might actually be the last episode. I'm not certain, it's it's a little hard to tell. Um, but just in the event that it is the last episode, I do want to talk about what can be done. I think that's something that honestly you don't really hear about because people don't really know. Um, and, and I'm going to admit, I probably don't have any real answers either, unfortunately. Um, everybody talks about the problems. No one has any solutions. Unfortunately, the solutions are not great. Um, so let me first outline what I, what I think could possibly be the best outcome of all of this stuff in the next 10 years. Um, so best outcome, potentially, is, I mean, best real, realistic outcome, right? The best realistic outcome uh, would be uh, all the people whose data got compromised in the Equifax breach. Um, you know, a lot of them just get their identities stolen and they lose a bunch of money and wake up as a result of it. Um, you know, and then that overthrows, or not not overthrows, but the laws end up getting changed to better protect personal privacy. Um, you know, I don't I don't think that's likely to happen. And also, I think it would create another market crash similar to the the housing market crisis um, about what ten years ago at this point in two thousand eight. And like I said, that's the best outcome. Um, unfortunately, I think the most likely outcome is that nobody cares and things just continue going on as they have been. Um, now, what can you do? That's that's the real question, right? Um, so I have two solutions. One is basically stuff like this, stuff like this game, Orwell, um, media things, movies, TV, and video games that not necessarily talk about this, because Orwell is a little bit drier, I think, and most people aren't really into reading, and so it doesn't have that real mass market appeal. Um, but I, I think if done properly, not necessarily propaganda, but you know, Kevin Smith in one of his uh, one of his talks has a great thing about how um, I think it's his brother that's gay, uh, and so he always puts like a gay person in as one of the characters, and it's not like you know it hits you over the head because that that gets rid of the whole point, but it just it just puts it in there to represent, you know, and I think. You know, I think that's one of the issues with like all these political agendas and stuff that are being forced down people's throats. You know, if they really want to change, that would make it far more subtle and, and human. Um, but I think, you know, putting into movies, putting it into TV and, and video games, I think that uh, could go a long way in opening people's eyes, making them more aware. Um, you know, it's going to be time, unfortunately. There's nothing we can do now, I don't think, aside from my, my best option of people getting taken advantage of, that will wake people up. I think we're uh, basically beyond that point. But that does take me to option number two, which is all you guys out there that are, um, you know, passionate about this, or at least concerned. You know, I've seen a lot of videos lately where people are concerned about this stuff and uh, the only real thing that could be done is just promote awareness right so share videos I'm not necessarily saying you know share my videos I mean if you guys like me and you think I'm making some good points then yeah absolutely feel free to clip little um click clip the snippets that you like out and, and share them and repost them and whatever that's fine um but, uh, you know, find someone that talks well about it. Um, 
you know, Razor Fist, he seems to be pretty decent. Um, although it doesn't really talk a whole lot about this stuff. Um, maybe the best one I would, I would say is, uh, um, you know, Jim Sterling, even though I don't agree with all of his politics, he has a, a really good video on uh, turning players into payers about kind of the monetization and, and uh, data mining going on in the mobile market. And then there's also um, people like Jordan Peterson who talk about compelled speech, which is essentially the opposite of free speech. And then there's always Stephen Crowder who does his, uh, his change my mind segments. Um, you know, as, and those are, they all have different political viewpoints. Some are more conservative, some are liberal, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of the thing is just, you know, share, share videos and stuff that you think primarily are entertaining first and also get the message across and, you know, be passionate enough to recommend it to people, you know, tried talking about it to people at work and most of them don't care. And that's the apathy is a real problem, uh, but that's that's all you can do. So I think I've ranted enough, or you know, got gotten on my little soapbox enough for today. Let's play some more. Well, um, so yeah, I don't know why it takes so long. I mean, it can't possibly be loading that much. You would you would think. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not sure about, uh, my mind kind of wandered there for a minute, but I'm not, uh, I know we're getting close to the end. I don't know where it's going to go. I know, um, our new handler, so to speak, is the secretary of security, whatever her, whatever her name is, find out who impersonated Gunther Ahrens and add any possible hideout location to their profiles. We can try that. Um, reader. I thought we did all the reader stuff. Okay. Does appear we have. We have listener. All right. Well, we'll start at the bottom. From Gunther Ahrens to Nina Matronova. Why would it be Gunther Ahrens? Wouldn't it be, um, what's his name? Abraham, whatever. Uh, Nina, I'm truly sorry for having drawn the investigators' attention to you, but frankly, you overstepped the boundaries of our agreement. The bombs were meant as a warning to those who are indifferent, a beacon of remembrance. Wait, we've read this, haven't we? Uh, a beacon of remembrance to our message that the thoughts must always be free. They were not meant to kill. Once again, you disappoint me with your insurmountable hatred and rage. Okay. Uh, members of thought, my dear friends, have you have already experienced, or have you, as you have experienced already, we are being besieged by the government. They have denounced us, denounced us, called us terrorists, and turned the public against us. This will stop today. Their days are about to come to an end. I have a plan, but for this to work out, we must we must meet like we did in the old days when we had our meetings in Cafe Chestnut. We have a conference call at 4 p.m. sharp because I am well aware a meeting in person won't work out for us. A gathering? We know Abraham Goldfels is dead. Someone must be impersonating him. This is as clear as crystal. We must act swiftly and collect as much evidence as possible before this gathering commences. Thought is certainly up to no good. Yeah, right, lady. As you know, processing data chunks is time-consuming. I would say we have time for roughly 20 data chunks. Be considerate. Interesting. 20 data chunk uploads remaining. Uh, you need not fear surveillance. All has been taken care of. I will contact you. Get in a safe position. Be ready. Okay, so I can go through as much stuff as I want, but I can only upload certain things. Add any possible hideout location to their profiles. So I suppose I could choose to waste those, and he gets away. 
Or I could... I don't know. I mean, how many endings do you think there are? Like, he evades, he gets caught, or... Are there more options? Are there more than three? Uh, let's see. Members of Thought, my dear friends. Have you... Wait. I just read this one. Oh, but it's two. Oh, I see. Thought must gather once again. But he wasn't in Thought originally. Oh, I see. They send them to all so that no matter who... Okay, well, you know, so far it looks like our, our choices are slow. From Marka to Harrison O'Donnell. Ghosting. You must think I'm stupid. First, you don't tell me where you're going because you need to ghost. Then hours later, you don't answer your phone. So I called Purrs asking for you, and she told me you were at Cyber Cafe Chestnut yesterday evening. Uh, said you stormed in furiously, wrote something on your PC, probed this outrageous po blog post the news speaks of, then stormed back out the door. Only me whom? Juliet. Meaning, you're back in action with this shitty group. And her? I cannot fucking believe it. So now I'm trying to emails... So you can't dodge me any longer. You and me, we're done. Okay. Uh, well. I guess that's it. Honestly, Marka sounds like a keeper anyway, so... That was sarcasm. Uh, right, I'm looking for Harrison. Did I just totally, oh yeah. Of course, the one right in the middle. Well, of course, I don't see. Okay, let me grab it. There we go, boom. One related document. This is where Harrison O'Donnell did his dirty work, probably thinking we would not be able to track him down. We will track him down. I've gone through the information we have on the remaining suspects regarding the impersonation of Abraham Goldfells. He predicted the bombings. This alone makes him suspicious. Did? Wait, oh, they're talking about Harrison? We have no idea why he hid the posts on the Thought blog in his timeline. We are yet to clarify why he would, why he would frequenting a drugstore so often. Survival supplies, perhaps? Maybe he's addicted to... What do they sell at drugstores? I don't know. Why would he have two health insurances? That doesn't even... I mean... I mean, really? People have supplemental health insurance. You're not going to have a health insurance for a dead person. Uh, it is apparent that Harrison O'Donnell might well be part of the Boughton bombings. He's probably the one impersonating Goldfells. I want you to prove this and lock him away for good. Interesting. Leading the evidence is what she wants, not finding the truth. Yep, just like a politician. Well... So, Cyber Cafe Chestnut. 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 That doesn't make sense. Lobby. Uh, can't click on it. High scores. That doesn't make... Oh, wait. Hang on. Posts. Oh. <clears throat> uh, hello, world. The internet is like a chestnut tree, ever-growing, branching, spreading. Everyone has the right to dwell or relax in the shadow, and we make sure you get your right. Need the web? Got you covered. Out of battery? Charge it here. Need PC access only? Also, yup. Bring your PC or use one of ours. Find us on Stel Stelligan Campus, Complex D, next to the actual cafe. All we ask for is an occasional donation, cash, or goods in return, if you can. That's it. Ready. Okay, so it's like a... Retro thing. What is the primary goal? To win the game. We award scores for the time spent in our cafe, donating stuff or contributing to the cause by any other means. Heartfelt yay goes out to these people. Well, Hancock is number two. And I don't know... Dank Frank. I don't know any of these others. Hosts. Meet your hosts. Leonor, a.k.a. Persephone. And I can click on this. Founder and boss of the bunch. Ahmed, a.k.a. Rattlesnake. 
super admin, all around super guy. Marka, well, that's her, AKA Wicked Witch. She keeps the drinks rolling and bits flowing. Honorable hosts, Harrison. Hey, this is the same photo. Uh, AKA Hancock, former admin and handsome. Well, all right. Guess we'll upload that. I mean, that's the only other thing. Load user Persephone, real name Leonor. Not counting active host, last contribution. Oh. Registered devices. I mean, if anyone can hack into your thing using these, that seems very not good. Uh, let's see. Active host, donated working PC, monitor cables, mouse, keyboard. Uh, donated two pallets of non-alcoholic beverages. All right. Donated 50 to the National Beholder. Oh, mouse pads. All right, well, let's look at his... Uh, I mean, there's still interesting. There's still stuff that we could. Oh, it's in there. Yeah, okay. Juliet Carrington. Let's see. Okay, so where the hell are you? Why did you leave Abe's? Our plan was to hide somewhere until we're no longer public enemies number one and two. Yeah, that was before I found out what you did. You exposed a government employee. Take a close look at what happened. They're after us now for sure. Was that necessary? Look at the TMB. We have developed a following. If they prosecute us now, there will be public outcry. This tiny crowd with their banners won't stop a thing. We'll be gone forever once they get us. This is why I had to leave. Did you get Abraham's email? Yeah, that was crazy. I know, all of a sudden he's back and he has a plan? I can't believe it. Where was he this whole time? Will you attend this gathering? Come on, Julia. Oh, okay, waiting for her to type. Of course, if Abe is there, we must attend. I will hide away someplace. I can call in from my notebook. You should do the same. Don't hide anywhere you've been in, been to in the last 24 hours. They might check there first. My damn phone is gone, just like you disappeared this morning. You haven't seen it by chance. Jesus, can you not take care of your stuff? No, I have not seen your phone. Oh, fuck it. Tried to track it down, but it doesn't send a signal. Probably out of battery or something. That doesn't... Yeah, whatever. I'll go without it until the gathering. Yeah, until the gathering. All right. So we'll upload that. A useful hint. If you encounter any hints to hideout locations, be sure to validate them by checking where they've stayed before first. Okay. So we're trying to track all of them down. Is that what the plan is? His phone is gone. I guess we'll upload that. It means it can't be tracked. He lost his phone? I thought he would be attached to it. Yeah, me too. So I guess the question is how much um, junk data is there going to be? Let's check trash. TNO ideas. As you may or may not have heard, I've been affiliated with a group called Thought in the past. I thought I was, might as well blow that right into your face before some data miner doesn't claim shit. Yeah, let them claim shit if they love worthless shit all that much. Once upon a time, there was a Daft Punk who sought to build it an activist group, but failed awfully. The moral of this story is your activism isn't worth shit, because peeps just don't care. Yeah, that's about right. As you may or may not have heard, the TNB office is a bunch of cocksuckers. At least now you know. Don't say you haven't been warned. Okay. Uh, we'll check the browser history. Where is my phone? 
Okay. And that was something, another thing. Do I want to upload this? Searched for Benjamin Costigan. Uh, no, not yet. So his phone is active. I love you, Hancock. Okay, I don't know who this is, but okay. Your life trust. Uh, let's see. Mr. O'Donnell, please find your invoice for our services below. Life Trust, life trust Family Plus Insurance March. Total is going to be subtracted automatically from your stored bank account within the next two days. Um, I mean, I guess if we're looking for them, we can leave that alone. It's interesting that searching through all this stuff doesn't... Um, doesn't take time, but uploading does. Oh wait, there's two of them? Oh right, okay. Life Trust Flex Insurance. See, there you go. He has a regular. Oh, Family Plus. A special health insurance covering family members. Hmm. So she wants him caught. Possibly framed. This kind of goes against that, right? Because he has... I mean, presumably, if he covers other family members, then... You know... I mean, I'm my, my plan is to go for the truth, ultimately. Like, I'm not necessarily going to let them go, but I'm not going to... Um, I'm not just going to do whatever the, the secretary wants for political expedience. Why would someone like, like some, why would someone like O'Donnell own a health insurance for a family member? I mean, maybe I just, you know, put another nail in his coffin. I don't know. Personal message for the great Hancock. Juliet, A.K. Dixon. Okay. I figured we had her email already. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for your support on my blog post for the thought. I have the feeling Nina does not really like me. I hope I didn't do anything wrong. Frankly, she scares me a bit. You know, I didn't want to occupy her spot in thought. If you if you want to, we could meet tomorrow at Cafe Chestnut and talk about our great success at Stelligan, the next big thing. Everything besides Nina. I mean, I studied at the campus. You work there, so we're neighbors anyway. Are you in? Uh, do we need aliases? I don't know. I will upload related contact stuff, I guess. I guess I will upload aliases as well. That might be important. Oh, it is important. Okay. Uh, let's check his browser history, right? I mean, okay, if you want to frame him, what is my... Uh, at any possible hideout locations. Okay. So, yeah. Harrison's phone... Sky chat. Yo, Jude. Happy birthday. Have a good one. Hey, Harrison. Thanks so much. I'm spending the day chilling out with Huxley at the Riverside. Much needed. I take it you ain't gonna party then. Not getting too old for that. What? Where's party her Jude? What have you done to her? She died a slow and agonizing death somewhere bef between two clubs on a certain weekend, if you remember. Ah, oh, sorry, not sorry. Yeah, I thought so. Anyway, you have a good one. Cheers. Uh, thank you for the flowers. I forgot. Still pulling off those jokes. Sorry, Mom, I won't be coming home today. Oh. Lives with his mother. Well, yeah, that's a possible hideout location, I suppose. Um, 
But don't go anywhere you won't go in the next 24 hours. I mean, maybe. Only 11 left. Yeah, okay. I'll be there tomorrow. Promise in case anything happens, call Jake. That's... T wait. I won't be coming home today. But he will be there tomorrow, which is today. Why is this not... Highlighted. Well, okay. Call Jake over, okay? Let me know if you understand. Okay, great. Love you. When are you coming? I'm not coming. Do you need anything? Are you okay? I am okay. Are you coming? Mom, I'm not coming today. I will stay somewhere else, but I'm fine. Is Jake with you? Jake here. We're good, Harry. Oh, geez. Thanks a ton. Never mind. Uh, let's see. Meet tonight. The Salvatore is for sure. Eight straight. Straight eight? You coming back tonight? Hell yeah, I will. Gonna work my shift at CCC now and be back at six. That's probably Marka. Remember when we were back at CCC together? Man, those were the days. You attracting all the guys while I kept pissing them off. Yeah, I'd say we pretty made, made a pretty decent made a pretty decent team, babe. Like good cop, bad cop. I love bad cop. Oh shit. What's wrong? Gotta bounce for a while. Get back to you soon. Uh okay. Or you could tell me what's up. Not coming back today. What? Why not? Don't tell me you're staying with Juliet. No, I'm not. Got a ghost for a while. Ghost? Why are you ghosting? Trust me, I just gotta. You're such a douche sometimes. Talk to you later. Fuck you. Yeah, sometime maybe. Interesting. She has, uh, anger issues, possibly. Gallery. New portrait. Okay, I mean, I guess we don't need that. Another one of Juliet. Also, probably don't need it. Just two, huh? Contacts. Angela, Castro, Danton, Eddie, Fletcher, Peter. Hull, Hull, Jules. Okay, Juliet's mobile phone. I guess I can upload this. Good. Keep an eye on her as well. Yeah, we're trying to track both of them, apparently. Half our time is up. Stay diligent and considerate. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Jules Work, Nina, M Babe, Marvelous Marv, Kendrick Stewart, TNB Office, Steph, Watergate, Cass. I guess that doesn't. You don't really need that. Males. Uh, let's see. Truly sorry for having drawn the investigators. Wait. Writes males. Wait. Wait, really? Or was this faked? I mean, because he said he doesn't have his phone. And it was sent this morning, so whoever has his phone might be... I don't know. Locations of the last 24 hours. I see. So, okay, it's probably not any of these places. So he probably won't go to any of those, I guess. I don't know. Lots of stuff we could just upload. Uh, reader. Nice to remember. Entry number seven. By Dixon. Okay. So this is... Oh, right. There they are. Our protest at Seligan was a lively gathering of open-minded people. Students, teachers, professors, and others formed a bright and colorful crowd. Uh, I have to admit, I have got to admit, when Abraham asked me to join Thought, I wasn't sure what to think of it. Join an activist group? That's not a thing for me. Sure, not everything is fine, but organizing protests in the streets, isn't that a bit much? But I knew Abraham as he was my professor for media ethics at Stelligan, and so I trusted him. I said yes, but it wouldn't stop there. Harrison and Nina left the event planning to me. Okay. This is confusing, isn't it? Like, we don't know who is guilty, who is not. And, I mean, things have been done that can't be undone now. You know? In five days, we've managed to jail two people. 
that are probably never getting out again. Uh, I mean, in jail might be being nice. Uh, me, who had never done anything close to this before. We, a pretty scary task. As both Abraham and I were closely tied to Stelgen University, my suggestion was to organize a peaceful protest there, slowly raise awareness among students. They would most likely be more open-minded, prone to question the authority and the government, wouldn't they? Well... I mean, I guess it depends on what you think of college campuses today. Uh... Indeed, the protest went off without a hitch. Stelligan's president even permitted us to hold the protest on campus grounds and close to 100 students, provided I didn't miscount, participated, many of them just joining in as they were walking by and wanted to know more. There was no conflict, no fear, just support. People were still talking about it a week later in the halls of Stelligan, and for me personally, it turned out to be a night, remember, night to remember. See, this is... So, if I could, you know, talk about college for a minute, I haven't been there in a while um not since i actually went to college of course um and i, I know the media and stuff that you see is not the whole story um but it seems like there's the attempt there's a lot of attempting to indoctrinate students going on I don't know. I don't know if that. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, it definitely seems like, you know, you hear about certain speakers not being allowed on campus, and I can't agree. You know, I'm a, I'm a big proponent of free speech, and uh, silencing speech is against that. So, I don't know. Um. But this, this is good. You know, you do a protest, you challenge ideas, you challenge institutions, you know, oh, raise awareness. This is how I think it should be. I don't know if it's that way anymore. It's, it seems like maybe it's not. And if that's true, that's a real problem. Uh, Jules, let me say the important thing first. You did great. That's why we chose you for this. You even thought of making sure everything could get home after the protest, or everyone could get home after the protest by organizing an extra bus. Anyway, I already got an idea for what's next. Take things out of the streets, literally. Not the university streets, more like the street streets. Think you can help us organize that as well? Thanks, Harry. After this, I'm confident I might be able to organize something bigger for next time. The streets are probably not the best choice, too unsafe, but I'll come up with something. Juliet, I don't want to offend you, you're new and you did a good job, but this simply isn't enough. Our petty protest doesn't matter on a national scale. That's the simple truth. With a pace like this, the government will have a right to their oppressive machinery before we even get to the streets. Nina, you know I think likewise, and in the end you're right. Our next thing will be much bigger. We'll make the news for sure, but we need to be smart about it. Smart like Julesy. That's why I want her to plan the next thing as well. I understand you, Nina. I'll do my best to get things right and safe. At the moment, I'm thinking of Freedom Plaza. Pretty much everything we need space-wise there. Would that be okay for everyone? Right. Uh, why is there another thing? Are there more pictures? No. There's still something. I... I don't know. Am I supposed to grab these? Or, wait... Okay, maybe I'm, it's still showing up as red, which I I don't know. Plan the Freedom Pla Plaza protests of thought. I don't know if I'm supposed to upload these or, or not. Let's check out the listener and uh, oh, wait, hang on. No, it's still showing up, so we'll let's see. Phone call, Victor Rosen. Let me take another drink while this is loading. Oh hey, that's uh that's going faster than I expected. 
Uh, let's see. Carrington? Why is she asking her... Why is she saying her last name? I don't understand. Uh, Juliet, Victor here. Oh, hey, Victor. I just talked to Maria. Why are you not at work? Oh, I sent a sick note. Didn't you read? No, you did not. You were here the entire weekend. That's what the tracker says, but no one authorized you to do so. Okay. I was in the Rosen office on the weekend, despite not being ordered to do overtime hours. Now that you're meant to be here, you are not. Also, what is SP this registered under your account? This device ID does not belong to a company approved device. I, I, you'll explain these irregularities. I want you in my office as soon as possible. I don't think so. Wow, she certainly does look guilty, doesn't she? Okay. In the meantime, with initiate. Knock, knock. Uh, who are you? Name's initiate. For a minute, I thought she was initiate, but I mean, I guess not. Uh, oh, you're this hacker guy Harrison spoke about then? Right. So you hacked the thought blog. You've been following us around. Why? What do you want? What I want? I want to know what happened to thought. These bombings have been ringing in my head. And I just don't know, was this thoughts work? Was it a government setup? Those are both great questions. I like his uh, portrait picture a lot. Pugs are awesome. Uh, listen, I don't know either, I'm sorry, but shit is majorly going down the drain right now, so if you can help us, do it, please. My help got you where you are right now. You helped to dox this Costigan. Harrigan told me you wouldn't want to assist us. Don't talk so openly, or did you forget what's going on? Well, I mean, we knew that already. Right, sorry. Can you can you do that again? What you did? Nope. Why would she want them to do that again? They're going to track me down for sure. Barely got out the last time. I need more intel on this thing first at the moment. I don't see a way. Damn. So what are you doing? Oh, you don't know yet. Abraham Goldfoss, who founded Thought, sent us a message. Thought should gather once more. What? Abe is back? Also, refers to him as Abe. Yeah, and he says he has a plan. You know him? Kinda. Where from? Coincidence. Also, he's surprised. Like, she already talked to... Harrison knows Abe's back. So this has to be... I don't know who. Uh, let's see. Where? Uh, look, if you know Abraham, why don't you attend this gathering as well? It's going down 4 p.m. as conference call. Give me your number. I want to invite you as well. No, thanks, but no thanks. Sounds like a trap to me. You shouldn't attend either. I agree. I'm pretty positive it's not. The email sounded authentic, but have it your way. I will. Good luck with this gathering. And it's true, it does really sound like a trap, doesn't it? Good luck to you with finding out what's going on here. You're going to need it. Yeah, so will we. Uh, so this is a phone. There's Abraham and her. Quo tracking. Displaying locations the last 24 hours. I mean, that doesn't really help us, though. Contacts. Oh, another listener thing. Okay, Abraham Goldfell's home number. That is... Probably important. I don't know. And Cassandra Watergate. You know, let's upload this one, because... It might be helpful, I don't know. Goldfell is dead. What do you expect to happen on his phone line? I don't know. You give me a weird time uh, thing and then, I don't know. Okay, so new portrait of Juliet and who is this? I don't know. Is that it? Uh, dad, or Juliet, where are you? Hey dad, I'm at work. It's beautiful Sunday, so, I, so we thought we could have a family barbecue tonight. April's already here. I don't think I'll be able to come. Well, you're lost. Why are you working almost every weekend now anyway? Did you miss a deadline or something? Oh, we've got this new project here, which is close to release. Everyone's doing overtime at the moment. What a company. This should be illegal. I hope you're getting overtime. Uh, let's see. Poor choice to follow this Abraham creep. Just because you worked Rosen Tech doesn't mean it's a good job for you. 
do I upload this? I will pass for now. Uh, Dad, what? Seriously, shut the fuck up. I made the right call. I know I'm doing the right thing. How dare you talk to me like that? Don't even think about coming home anytime soon. You'll see. I'll make you see. Okay. So I guess maybe they are all in on it. Okay, that doesn't go. Let's try it back. Oh, May Carrington shows the names up there. Hey sis, how's things? You there? Oh hey May. Yeah, doing good. That's awesome. Up for a meet and greet with you, long lost six sis next week. Gonna hit B Town on Wednesday and stay for three awesome days at A and D's hotel. You're not staying at home? God no. Gonna visit them once? That's already family overdose. Haha, <laughs> so meet up? Okay, let's do it. I'll get back to you as soon as I know if I have some spare time. Coolio, see you then, little sis. See you then. Uh, let's see, from Cassandra Watergate. Hey Jules, what's up? All good? Hey Cassie. Yes, all's quite well, a bit swamped with work, but what's new? It's Friday, hangout time. No romantic dinners with Joseph on schedule? Bye, you know what he's like. All work and no play. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Yeah, that's my Jules. What about Haunted House? We can go there. Haunted House? You? Something to happen to you overnight? It's a big detod from my usual route into the city, but fuck it, Jules wants to go to Haunted House. Yeah, why don't you take the 9B? Uh, you know I don't like that place. Oh yeah, sorry, although it is like a lot, or it is a lot faster to go through Freedom Plaza. Okay. Like, much faster. I don't... Uh, yeah, I know it's pretty ridiculous being afraid of a place like that. Don't let yourself get bothered by the past. You're free to go where you like. Uh, yeah, you're right. I'll give it a try. Good, Cassie. You make it sound like I'm a dog or something. Still up for Haunted House? I am. Girl, I like your nude attitude, I must say. Great, Miss Watergate, let's make it happen. Okay. That was all, right? That was all that stuff? What did we miss? Oh, her notebook. Is there something new? Greetings from Copacabana? No. Stelligan? No. Say draft no. Uh, Rosen. Nope. Uh, still nothing. Okay, I don't. Um. Hmm. All right. Well, listener, let's check out. I see. Uh, let's see. Initiate, I need to work out... Wait, what? I need to apologize to you for remaining silent for such a long time. I've been working on a plan and hiding. Today, I need to call upon your help to make it happen. I'm aware of your capabilities and your skills. You need to stop trying to tear down walls, instead shifting to running through open doors. Here's where to find one. Alright, I guess we'll upload that. So they're going to try and attack Orwell once again. Well, let them come. All right, well, um... So we have seven... I don't know what I'm supposed to upload for this. I mean, I guess I'll upload both of these because it's shown as, like, important. Okay, still important, I guess. Okay, and still showing up. I, uh, hmm. I don't understand why it's archived. Oh, I guess we click on Okay, uh, oh, that was it? It just had an extra thing? Well, okay. Uh, let's see, listener, insider. Huh, the phone chat.
Oh, no, no. Right, it was, uh... No, it was the listener, right? With Victor. Well, we're going to keep going. Uh, let's see. That's what the tracker says, but no one authorized you to do so. That seems unusual. Why was she at work then? I don't know. I guess we will find out very soon. And with initiate. Uh, help dox the Costigan. Sure, we'll upload this, I guess. This initiate is a nuisance. You must reveal his true identity. This might shed some light on what his motives are. Three data chunks lading, uh, remaining, I mean. I guess we will just run out. Mm-hmm. New portrait. Okay. I'm not going to upload that, because I don't think that's... Chat with Angela. I guess we'll upload that. It shows he may go somewhere. Okay. Pictures, huh? Like, who is this? I know the pictures of him, but who is that person? I'm sorry, I'm not, uh, not doing this. 2D Schwartz, mail receiver. Mm-hmm. Browser history. Yeah, sure, why not? This confirms Harrison O'Donnell's behind the exposure, but we knew that already. Oh, sh I, I don't know what she said. It's almost 4 p.m. Something, something. Probably make the last one count. It, uh, it's probably not going to. All right, whatever. I'll uh, I'll add this. This is suggesting Cassandra Watergate was possibly coerced into being at Freedom Plaza by Juliet Carrington, nonetheless. Incredible. It's 4 p.m. I'm getting intervention teams ready to check all the locations you've mentioned, which is funny because I don't think I've mentioned any. Um, we got, I mean, we got a bunch of addresses, but. They're in the last 24 hours, and she said, Harrington, don't go to any places you've been in the last 24 hours. So, I mean, I guess the only thing is I could say, Harrison's maybe at home with his mom. Now to wait and see what happens, and we're getting hacked again. What's going on? I'm getting something. You have found enough material implying that something is very wrong about Juliet Carrington. Whoa. Whoa there. And I can I continue or can I not? Okay, Juliet is oh, so this is the caller, okay. Hello, is this working? Anybody here? Well, I am. Harry, I didn't know if you would still be around. Seems neither Cassandra or Joseph are here, and I can't click. Uh, ha, huh. did you really expect otherwise? I don't know, somehow. Holy crap. Oh, he called in. What is this? Who are you? A fool who is baffled by the madness he just witnessed. Otherwise, initiate. Well, glad you decided to join us. That's completely unintended. What do you mean? You're in the call, aren't you? 
Yeah, I'm also in Orwell. In Orwell? Abe sent me an IP address to get into Orwell. Make hacking's, it makes hacking the damn thing incredibly easy. You did what? And that worked? Like a charm. I now kind of control the damn thing. It's really, really worrying. Come again? You have Orwell on a freaking leash? Fucking great. How does that worry you? My control is limited, and the Gov will get the control back at some point. But this isn't my primary concern. What makes me nervous is, why would Abraham have such extensive knowledge of Orwell? This whole thing reeks of an enormous trap. Yeah. And this is the point where it gets even worse. I had a quick look at his file. You would not believe what it says. Is this the ending? Abraham is dead. He died quite some time ago. Dead? No. Abraham, how? He was very sick. Cancer. Ugh, you old fool. Why couldn't you tell us? He gave Nina the orders for the bombings after his demise. This means... This means someone has been setting her up real bad. And not only her, all of us. Who the fuck would do such a thing? Huh, the person working on this was clever. They found it all. What did they find? Who was it? Everything in here points to... You. Wait a sec, I can't fucking believe where this is going. Are you for real? Are you... Are you telling me you told Nina to place those bombs? I did. I'm not proud of it, but it had to be done. What the hell? Why? You and Nina, you two ruined everything for Abraham and for thought. So you decided that leaving me wasn't enough for revenge? You had to kill innocent fucking people and blame it on all of thought? It was necessary. Only when things are at their darkest will people listen, take note, and actually enact change. Abe knew that. I know it was extreme. Extreme, extreme. It's goddamn murder. I know, damn it. Believe me, I know. Your actions really screw the members of Thought, screw them real good. Most of all, Nina. How can you justify that? What did you do to all of all this for? Thought needed to be destroyed. That was the whole point of its formation. Instead of seeking me out and arresting me, Orwell labeled you all target persons and investigating you all. Screwed up your lives. People need to see how fucked up Orwell is. It's not protection. It's invasive and manipulation, manipulative doom for everyone. No one is innocent. Everyone is a, sus a suspect. Abe wanted to make the world stand up for things against things like Orwell. He knew how dangerous the project was. That's why he worked on it. He did what? He worked on Orwell? This confirms what I feared, but I didn't want to believe it. If so, he couldn't. If so, he could have gone to the media and made it all public, couldn't he? He was afraid. He thought nothing would ever change if he did. Can you blame him? He told me everything. And only me. Haha, <laughs> funny. I've just realized you're you're actually a much better yet much worse activist than Nina or me could ever be. That's admirable in a strange and very fucked up way. I still don't get it. Why draw all this attention to thought? You didn't convince anyone by your actions. Why is this gathering? Why let me hack Orwell? I just need to convince one person how fa faulty Orwell was. Costigan, the guy Harry leaked information about, was the man on the inside, only an advisor. The person who has really been spying on you is still around. The person who actually went through your stuff, passed on the data. The one listening right now, the investigator. Oh shit. That's right, I'm talking to you. I knew you had to be around when everyone would come together. You had to be listening. Initiate was just a windfall, a chance to make sure you'd not immediately go up against us. Investigator, I have a question for you, now that you saw Orwell firsthand. Do you really think the system will help anyone? Did you think the government would not spy on you as well? Did you think you were outside the system? Think again. They evaluate even you. Abe knew that. He saw the madness. They'll ev they evaluate even you, the investigators. But we can stop it. You can. You remember you became recruited for being outside of the system, outside of the nation? What if we show people what they store about you? That not even you, that even you are not outside of the system, that no one is outside of the system. All you need to do, investigator, is upload the data they have on you, incriminating yourself. This is so, so mind-bogglingly stupid, Jules. Why would the investigator cooperate? The government will come after them. That's exactly the point. This evaluation is supposed to be a safety net, so that no one misuses Orwell. Acting on evidence is mandatory. If the investigator invest incriminates themselves, they will be forced to prosecute them and reveal this evidence that the investigators are actually being spied on as well, publicly. That is absolutely mad. I don't see this working. 
I would like to offer an alternative, investigator. It just so happens a certain Catherine Delacroix is in this files too. I say we make use of the fact we have control over Orwell. Let's use it as a weapon and turn it against the government. There's something dirty to be found about Miss Delacroix for sure. Let them act on that evidence. Now we're talking. No, hurting Delacroix won't help much. She's just gonna get replaced. This isn't the right way. Oh yeah, and fucking us all up was the right way then? Bullshit. But how can you trust this investigator to help us? Streams up. Harrison? Am I to speak my elaborate opinion, yeah? Huh. I think this is the fucker that got me fired. Looks like this investigator is the cause for me losing my TMB job. Or might as well be. Thanks for that, you douchebag. You can rot in that digital limbo of no control you're in right now. I shall speak on behalf of Nina, then. I only realize now. Might have been my fault Nina got investigated in the first place. But it's all clear. The investigator is responsible for hunting her down like this. Oh, shit. You're right. They caused her death, no doubt. Perhaps the investigator didn't know any better, and we know Nina was guilty. It does not strengthen my trust, though. But then the investigator found out about Juliet's plans. This is why I say we can trust this person. Meaning the final verdict is... Only one vote to trust the investigator. That is not enough. Are we finally going to do this my way? No, we're not. That's it. I'm out of here before this investigator gets control back. User quit the session. It's down to the two of us as it seems. Well, my plan to gather support for you failed, investigator. But if you still want to fulfill my plan, go on and give Delacroix hell, you will find something dirty. Investigator, it's time to make up your mind. You can tear down the entire system. Just complete my plan. Please. I will turn Delacroix into a target person. I think I can easily activate access to her PC for you as well. When Abraham stopped his work for Rosen Tech and the government, he cloned all information he had and hid it in the office. He told me and I maintained it. The system is programmed to boot itself again in a couple of minutes. You'll have access to everything. You just need to find the UID of the device. I cannot tell you here now that Orwell isn't tracking the data chunks. I have full understanding if you judge and incriminate me for what I've done. I... I think I deserve it. It's up to you now, investigator. Do the right thing. <sighs> Whoa. I have chills. <sighs> wow. I feel really like a lot of emotion right now it is intense i did not expect this wow okay uh, wow that's a twist that i did not see coming Jeez. okay so i have to choose to incriminate myself and tear down orwell potentially or incriminate her And either way, Orwell's going to get investigated, but it's the question of, is, would the world be upset? I'm honestly, I'm agreeing with Juliet. You found enough material implying something is very wrong about Juliet Carrington. She might be our impersonator. Good, but it's only an implication so far. So I guess Catherine is not aware of what just happened. Also, I love it when they break the fourth wall like that. Uh, remember to add all possible locations where she might be hiding. Continue to collect anything of value until the gathering. Wait, that's weird. The gathering happened. Finally, I thought this disturbance would never end. Oh, I see. That's a previous. Uh, the back-end engineers say we've had an unwanted guest. We already know it was, was thought. It's about time to undo them. We must be strong. We must show these people for what they are. The nation's safety is depending on it. Find a way to incriminate them. Uh-huh. See, she's... She's corrupt. Find a way to incriminate them together as a group. All we need is a hint that Abraham Goldfels intended this group to carry out terrorist actions. We could trace the attack back to a remote PC. I will now manually unlock this PC for you.
So I have to find cloned all information you had to hit it as an office told me and I maintained it system is programmed to boot itself you'll have access to everything you need to find the UID of the device okay new objective undo thought wow okay um I don't know if this is, uh, I don't think this got recorded at all. I think it's just, okay. Um, I'm going to stop here, but I need to figure out. System is programmed to boot itself. Cloned all information, hid it in his office. We'll have access to everything. You just need to find the UID of the device. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop here. Wow, that's wow, that's intense. I was uh wow. I was getting choked up there, like my I don't know. Um. Okay. I was kind of, you know, I, I mean, I liked the game before, but wow, this is so much better all of a sudden. That's crazy. Um, woo. Okay. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for your time and attention. Seriously. Wow. Um, I guess next time we're finishing Orwell. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, and different you guys have, let me know. Um, unique positive moment for the day. For me, uh, it's actually the cats being well. Um, kind of a, a little story real fast. Uh, so last night I fed the cats before I went to bed. Got woken up like it like two hours before I was supposed to get up by the cats because they wanted to eat. Go out to feed them. And uh, they hadn't even touched their food. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's the, you know, the can of cat food itself. Maybe there's something about it. So I tossed it, you know, cleaned their bowls, gave them some new food, went back to bed, or tried, got up, looked again. They hadn't even touched that. Um... I was like, okay, maybe second can is bad as well. Tossed that, gave them a little bit of dry food. Uh, they weren't really interested in that either. So I'm just like, whoa, what is going on? And uh, yes, yeah, so it's like I went to work and they hadn't eaten for, you know, however many hours. Got home and they had eaten. So I felt, I was very relieved. It was just, it was just weird. Like uh, one of them had thrown up and... Uh, yeah, I was I was a little bit worried, just a little bit worried. Um, but they're doing okay. They're doing well. They both ate when I got home, and everything's going well. So that's that's mine. Hopefully yours is just as good or better. Um, but but that's it for today. This game took a turn, man. It took a turn. Uh, but I hope to see you guys next time, presumably for the finale. <laughs> Until then, guys, take care.